Good afternoon. It is Thursday already. And I just thought of something. Hang on one second. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Did you like to view the fence post? It was exciting. Anyway, so it's Thursday. It is, what is it? It's the 20, the 24th of October. It's the first weekend, or it's the last weekend before Halloween. So there's a lot of activity going on this weekend. Um, holiday, Halloween related. So first and foremost, be safe. If you're going trick-or-treating, uh, well, make sure you don't get hit by a car. If it's dark, watch your traffic, watch your kids, watch four kids. So anyway, with all that going on, there's a five page list today. So to uh, get the full rundown on it, go to our website, hayespg.com slash blog, and it'll all be right there with links to the websites for everything we could find an event, uh, a website for. So as far as uh, sports goes this weekend, so on Sunday, men's and women's soccer at Colorado College, that's at Stewart Field. The men play at 11 and the women play at 1.30. It doesn't cost you anything. So go cheer on the local college or a local college. There are several here in town. And uh, let them know that you know that we're here for them and help them get to a victory. So over at uh, the Penrose Event Center, they have the uh, Colorado Springs Kennel Club this weekend. So dogs are always cool. I couldn't find a whole lot of information about it, so I can't tell you what it costs. Um, it's a Noro's Penrose... Norris Penrose Center. So easy to get to, um, south side of town, 24, then go up uh, lower Gold Camp Road. You'll see it on the left-hand side. So we'll check that out. Hopefully it's uh, free. You can go look at some dogs doing dog things. It goes from tomorrow, from Friday through Sunday, uh, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day. So check that one out if you're into the dog thing. Over at the Colorado Springs Event Center off of Academy. Uh, it's Academy and Palmer Park Road or yeah so uh palmer park boulevard sorry anyway that is they they have the springs home fall home show going on so check that one out they have uh, a whole bunch of vendors there it says 120 plus i that's what they say so anyway if you're looking for windows gutters anything like that um house things and they say that you know crafts as well so check that one out there is no cost yep it is free um, Friday from 12 to 6, Saturday 10 to 5, and Sunday 11 to 4. All right, then over at the, um, well, there's nothing going on at the Broadmoor this weekend, the Broadmoor World Arena, so um, don't go there. But if you go to the Broadmoor website, the World Arena website, they point you to, um, what is it called? It's called the Pike Peak Center, sorry. So, yeah, you can go over to the Pikes Peak Center, and they have uh, a Symphony Number no. Five, uh, Volcan Williams Symphony Number no. Five. Uh, that's Saturday at seven thirty and Sunday at two thirty. It's forty. The tickets are between forty and eighty-seven dollars. So Symphony sounds like it's Halloween type music. It seems like it would be. So check that one out. That's off of Cascade Avenue downtown. Uh, so check that out. That, that if you're in the classical music, that would be great. So those are our regular event window. Uh, venues uh the fourth theater is done for the season it looks like so the next thing coming up is going to be in the spring as far as what their calendar is showing so anyway we'll just start off with friday so uh start your weekend off right right so uh let's go for it anyway um friday afternoon at four o'clock from four to six uh the opulent group which is a part of the exp realty um, I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I am with HomeSmart and Hayes Property Group, so we do our own thing. But it's a friend of mine. Always support your friends, support local businesses. Anyway, um, hey, Troy, if you're watching, have a great Friday. Um, hope the, uh, the trunk or treat thing goes well. So they have a opulent group has a trunk or treat. It's on Friday from 4 to 6. They're on the corner of Dublin and Mark Scheffel over there by Banning Lewis Ranch. Now they have games, prizes. Uh, they have a, a, host, a costume contest. So say that one really fast, it doesn't work. A lot of events this weekend have costume contests. So check out that trunk or treat. First thing on Friday, get your weekend rolling. Once that wraps up, just swing down the road over to the Black Forest because the Black, the Black Rose Acoustic Society is, they have a concert hosted over at the uh, 
the Black Forest Community Center. It's uh, Craig Walter and Nick, Nick Davey. They're uh, folk singers and songwriters. So check that one out. The doors open at 6.15 and the concert starts at 7. That's up at the Black Forest Community Center off of Black Forest Road. So check that one out. It's $15 for general admission. Admission. I can't speak today. That's all right. And uh, if you're a member of the Black, uh, Black Rose Acoustic Society, it's only $8. So check that out. It'll be good for you. Um, it's good music. And it's it's a nice, friendly setting and really great people. So check that one out. Um, if you're into more into the, the musical side of things, uh, Newsies is being put on by the Rise Christian Arts over at the ENT Center for Arts. That's over on the uh, UCCS campus on uh, 5225 North Nevada. So over by that Lowe's off of Nevada and Austin Bluffs. So that ENT Center right there, they have the musical uh, Newsies. Uh, to get in, that's Friday and Saturday both at 7 o'clock at night. Not in the morning, 7 p.m. No brainer, but just in case. Um, anyway, cost there is $20.75 all the way up to $33.50. Unique numbers. So check that one out. Support the local uh, musical people. I'm not sure what they're called. Uh, theater people. So, and then staying with uh, the Halloween theme for the weekend, uh, Lulu's downtown. They are playing the Rocky Horror Picture Show, which is a very unique movie. Um, it's got its own following. So that is on Thursday and Friday at 8 o'clock. That costs $25 and up to get in. Um, you can check out their website at lulusmusic.co. C-O. Again, that's uh, at Lulu's downtown is the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Friday and or Thursday and Friday, so tonight and tomorrow. Uh, at 8 o'clock. That's at 32 South Tijon Street. So check that one out if you're into that. So then the May Natural History Museum of Colorado Springs is having uh, Boo with Bugs. Um, I'm just going to read this because they have a whole lot of stuff to say about there. You can check our website at the blog for more information on it. Um, however, um, for the first time in history, you can visit the world-famous insect collection in October. Uh, creepy crawlers themed face painting by a local artist. Uh, creepy crawler themed candy. And a wonderful gift shop. It says lots of stuff, but basically a lot of bugs. You can go see some creepy crawly bugs at the May Natural History Museum. Uh, they, they say wear a costume. They encourage it. So that's at... Uh, if you're not familiar where that one's at, it's at 710 Rock Creek Canyon Road. So check that out if you're into the bug thing. It's on Friday and Saturday at 4. And then adults is $12 and children are $9. And if you wear a costume, you get $2 off. So good deal there. The website, our website is on. Go to our blog. Their website's there. There's not a lot of detail about it, but check it out. They got bugs that you don't normally see. And then they got like Halloween themed things. Makes sense, doesn't it? Anyway, let's move over to Saturday. We got some pumpkin patches. They've been going all of October. You got the uh, Western Museum of Mining and Industry. They have their uh, miners pumpkin patch. This will be the last weekend for it. So get out there. It is an awesome place to go visit. If you haven't seen my other video about the museum, go check that out. Um, about three weeks ago, I put it out on a Tuesday. Um, the Western Museum of Mining and Industry they have a lot to see, a lot to do. They have a cool old steam uh, steam shovel, like it digs. Um, all their stuff works, a lot of their stuff works. They have, you can pan for gold. Anyway, I'm rambling about them because they're really cool. It's fun. Anyway, uh, go check out their uh, Miner's Pumpkin Patch. That is Saturday from nine until four. That's off in Northgate. So if you're heading north on 25, get off at Northgate, hang a right, go away from the Air Force Academy, go away from the mountains. It'll be your very first right right there now you see an old cottage that they brought in from a, a local farm that was super old uh, anyway it's there's a price associated with it I don't know I didn't write it down my apologies but uh, yeah, you can buy your tickets online in advance uh, minerspumpkinpatch.com is their uh, website 
Then you also have the uh, Pumpkin Fest at the Vertucci Farm. Had a friend go. They said it was a really great time. Had a good time. Showed a lot of pictures of it. So check that out. They have a uh, pumpkin patch, hay rides, games, concessions, uh, a maker's market. Uh, support those local makers, uh, farm animals, and a whole lot more. So this is the last weekend. Actually, it says it goes through the 31st. So go there on Halloween if you want, I guess. If, if they're open, check it out first. Don't just go assuming that it's actually open. Don't take it from me. Call their web. Call them or check their website. Um, it's open at 9.30 in the morning. It costs you $8 to get into that uh, Venatucci farm uh, pumpkin patch. All right. We'll move away from pumpkin patches and go to a night at the museum. It's at the uh, El Paso County Courthouse is what it says. It says, interact with historic figures from Colorado Springs past, uh, make unique crafts, play carnival games, and enjoy performances and activities that celebrate the spirit of the fall season. So it's $5 uh, for adults and kids under two are free. So check that one out downtown at the El Paso County Courthouse. Here's one I didn't know existed until I found it this afternoon. Uh, the Japanese Cultural cultural Bazaar and Festival. Uh, meet guests from Tamaduchi, Japan. It's Colorado Springs uh, sister city in Japan. Didn't know that existed. Now I just got that little bit wiser for the day. Anyway, they have uh, food, music. Uh, you can shop for kimonos, obi, pottery, Dishes, books, stationery, and decor, and other things, and Japanese toys from, you know, at, at the bazaar. So check that one out. It is at the UCCS Center. Uh, that's off of Nevada, Austin Bluffs, like that, right down there at UCCS campus. That is Saturday from 10 until 2. All right, so then we're going to move on to Generation Wild Team from Co Outdoor Colorado. That's a lot for it. That's a South... They have their Southeast Fall Gestive for Families. I think that would be Festival for Families. I just may have typed it wrong. Probably. Anyway, uh, it says, Enjoy a day filled with farmer's market, a petting zoo, a pumpkin patch, trunk or treat, and live music. And don't miss a chance to meet Wilder in person. So if you know who Wilder is, go meet him. <laughs> so anyway, that's it. Panorama Park. Uh, off of Fenton Road, uh, Fenton Road, sorry, and it goes from 12 until 3. I have no idea what the cost is. The description was really bad, but it sounds like a good thing. It encourages people to be outside. Go outside, enjoy this great weather before it gets cold. Get, do something outside. It's better than TV, always. Anyway, all right, anyway, the Colorado Springs Conservatory, ha Haunted Conservatory Carnival and of Madness. Well, that is a title. It's an evening of games, food, haunting, and trick-or-treat. It's at uh, 40, 415 South Sawwich Street. Could have spelt that wrong, too. Anyway, it's on, the, it's on the blog. Go there. Their website is there as well. It costs it's from 5 until 8 on Saturday. And then uh, it's $7, to $7 up to $25 to get in. Uh, the event does sponsor... Um, there's scholarships for music scholarships. So I'm assuming there's music involved. Anyway, check our blog for the website to that. It'll be way more informational than I am right now. Anyway, if you're looking for something funny to do on Saturday evening, uh, comedian Tommy Raymond, he is going to be at Looney's Comedy Center or Comedy Corner. That's off of Academy. It's 1305 North Academy Boulevard. He's got two shows, one at 730, one at 945. Prices range from $15 all the way up to $80. Uh, you can go to looney, l o o n e e s c c dot com to get your tickets. So check that one out. It's always good to support comedians. They're probably struggling anyway. Anyway, there's a play. You can go check this one out over at UCCS also. There's a lot going on on that campus. Um, it's Act Like a Lady or Act, Act a Lady. I don't know what it's about, but that is put on by the uh, UCCS Theater Company. That's the uh, ENT Center Osborne Studio Theater. So 7.30 on Friday and Saturday. It's 12.75 to get in. So low costs, entertainment, play on stage. Uh, give them a chance. Let them entertain you for a little while. So um, here's one on Saturday that it would be funny to watch. I think it's, this would be a good, a good event. I would, I, if I could make it, I would go. It is the Emma Crawford Coffin Races down in Manitou Springs. 
and festival, of course. So uh, it's held every every year in memory of a resident named Emma Crawford. And uh, <laughs> I was looking this one up because I couldn't, I was like, why do you have a coffin race? Apparently there was like a mudslide and her coffin went right down through the city. And uh, every year they, this was like in 1929. So every year since then, they have like memorial coffin races and have a competition and, and enjoy. It's a reason for the season, I guess. Halloween, they just play with it and have fun. So that's teams of five compete against uh, each other. Uh, one rider and four people push or pull it. And uh, the best coffin and the best entourage get uh, prizes. So check that one out down in Manitou. It's at 900, it's the 900 block of Manitou Avenue. 10 o'clock, it doesn't cost anything. Uh, go to the Manitou Springs website if you want more information or just go to our blog. The link is right there. That'll be a, a unique one. There'll probably be pictures in the paper on Sunday. So anyway, Mad Science Day at the Space Foundation Center. Uh, it's a Halloween scavenger hunt, spooky decorations, trick or treat, a wizard wand uh, shop where kids can create their own magical light up wand. Um, attend attendees are encouraged to dress up. So that's at the... Uh, Space Foundation Discovery Center, uh, Garden of the Gods Road, as you head towards the mountains, head to the west. Uh, it'll be on your left-hand side, three-quarters of a mile to a mile off of 25 going west. Um, the actual address is 4425 Arrow, what is it, Arrow West Drive. It costs $10 for adults, $5 for kids, and 16 and, yeah, $5 for kids, 16 and under. So it goes from 10 until 4 on Saturday. So check that one out. Now this, there's always something interesting to see at the Discovery Center, or the, uh, what do you want to call it, the Science Space Foundation Discovery Center. Always a good one to go check out uh, and learn something. So have fun and enjoy some. Anyway, looking for some exercise? How about the YMCA of the Pikes Peak region uh, hosting their 16th annual Kids Monster Dash and Creepy Crawl 5K? So this one is up, uh, up north, uh, just past Monument. It's a monument address, I believe, but it is, uh, where are we at here? Yeah, take I-25 to County Line Road, exit 163. And uh, it's like two and a half miles to the west. It's, uh, yeah, if you know that area, Palmer Lake, if you're going towards Palmer Lake, you'll see it. Um, anyway, I just lost my place. So it's a five, yeah, the, the just, just, I'm just going to read this. Lost my place, my train of thought. Uh, the race follows the Palmer Lake Santa Fe Trail, and kids can search for treasures along the run. There's a 5K, uh, it's a 5K, uh, stroller and dog friendly, and costumes are encouraged. So, um, just told you how to get there. It's at 9 o'clock on Saturday, but the race starts at 10.30. So, anyway, to get there, to register the day of it. So, you can register today and Thursday, today, Thursday, tomorrow, Friday for lower costs, but on Saturday, if you want to go do it, it is $50 for adults and $40 for kids 19 and under. So you can go to the PPYMCA uh, website, PPA, PPYMCA.org website, and you can register there or just register in person. So uh, anyway, Boo at the Zoo is also going on all day Saturday at the uh, Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. Actually, it's not all day Saturday. It's Friday and Saturday at 4 so Friday, Friday through Sunday at four. So check that one out. It is twenty-five dollars for adults, and uh, under two is seventy-five cents. So those two-year-olds will bankrupt you. Be careful. Anyway, uh, bring your little superhero, princess, or pirates to Boo at the Zoo when Cheyenne Mountain Zoo comes alive with the spirit of Halloween. Uh, attendees will feel good about collecting candy made with sustainable palm oil to help protect wild orangutans. Okay, so put on your costume and bring your trick-or-treat bag to the wildest Halloween event in town. That is straight off their website. So enjoy that one. The zoo's always a great place to go. It'll wear you out, but it'll be worth it. Um, all right, then you got the uh, Front Range Farmer's Market. So that's the local shops. That's at Lewis Palmer High School. It is going on uh, Saturday and Sunday. So 9 o'clock on Saturday, 10 o'clock on Sunday. Uh, lots of unique vendors, local vendors, things that handcrafted things so support your local makers check out the front range makers market on saturday and sunday at the uh, um, palmer high school 
It's off of Higby Road up in Monument. So uh, five dollars to get in at the door. It's worth it. You can just walk around and see what people are making. Uh, support them. A lot of probably like jewelry, uh, some handmade things, probably some jams and honeys and uh, probably some clothing items. I don't know. Check it out. I might. Um, anyway, that's Saturday and Sunday. And then the only thing I could find going on on Sunday itself was the Colorado Springs Youth Symphony, the Sound of Autumn Fall Concert Number 1. So that is at Sunday on Sunday at 3. It's $5 to get in. Go support the Youth Symphony. It's 5 bucks. It, they might be really good. I, I will have to get to one of their concerts someday. So, um, yep, uh, Set their their web the the website says it's enjoying an inspiring afternoon of music as these young musicians perform with dedication and skill as they bring vibrant program to life. Um, so check out their website, or you know, well just go there, just go the, to the show. It is at Wasson High School at uh, twenty one fifteen Afton Way. So Sunday at three, cost five bucks. So. Uh, that's what I got for now. So if you're looking for something else to do, if you're looking for a house, you're curious, like what? You don't want to deal with with realtors and bugging, getting bothered and all that stuff. You want to just hit open houses. Saturday, when I looked this up, this number is probably going to be higher, but it's 170 open houses in the area on Saturday. Sunday, there's 120. And those are only of when I looked this up this afternoon. Right before I came on, I looked it up. So... Um, check those out. But if you don't want to go deal with open houses and you want to go see a house, give me a call. Check out our website. You can go to hayespg.com. Uh, you can even search houses there. It's, it's hooked right up to the to the to what's available here in town. And uh, we can help you go see that house and not be bothered by a bunch of realtors. We're family friendly. We're here to, to, to help other families and just help anybody who's looking for a home try to help solve their housing needs. So, uh, check us out. Go to our website, hayespg.com. If you have an event coming up and you want to bring it up on our video, uh, over the last couple of weeks, we've had the number of people watching this video has gone up every week. So check it out. Uh, send me a, put a comment down that you made it this far in the video. Thanks for watching this far. But um, if you have an event coming up, put it in the comments, give me a call, shoot me a text, and I'll bring it up in the next video or when your event's about to happen. So have a great afternoon. Enjoy this beautiful weather. It sounds like right after Halloween or right around Halloween, it's going to change. Winter's going to show up or fall's going to show up. So before this helicopter flies over, I'm going to say have a great day. Stay healthy, stay happy, and we'll see you soon.